Welcome to another video. Let's journey together into the solution to this integral. At first sight, it looks like you could do a U substitution. But you know it's not going to work because if you take the derivative of the denominator, you're going to get 2x, but there is no x on top. So that means u substitution is not an option. And we don't know how to factor this. So you see, it eliminates some of the strategies we might adopt. The most obvious strategy in this case is trig substitution. And what trig substitution is best? Anytime you have the sum of squares, you have to use either tangent or cotangent. But who cares about cotangent? when you have tangent. So let's do some tan substitution and see where we get to. Let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to do is know what to substitute. You see, when you know the identity that tan squared th theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta, you want to make sure that whatever is here is representing tan squared theta, and you have your plus one here. So everything here has to be tan squared theta. And in order for this to be tan squared theta, you have to write this as the square of something. Yes, we know what it is. So look, this integral, let's call it i, is equal to the integral of six divided by 3x squared plus 1, and everything is squared. You see, the second square is what is scary, okay? It is what makes you afraid because really, well, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. So here we go. Um, I'm going to pull the 6 to the side because it doesn't make any, doesn't help me, and I'm going to do my trig substitution. So let's do everything here. So we do our trig sub. Our trig sub tells us that we have to make this our tan. 3x equals tan theta. If I take the derivative of both sides, I'm going to get 3dx equals secant squared theta d theta. But what I really need is dx. Oh, I might just pull 3 out and put 2 to the back. Actually, that makes sense. Okay, all kinds of strategies. You know what? I want to do that. It looks nice. So I'm going to write this 6 as 2 times 3. It doesn't make any difference, but let's see. 2 times 3. So I got my 3dx here, and I have secant squared theta d theta here. So I'm going to go here and replace this with that. But the denominator, I have to replace with... Um, this is now my tan theta squared plus 1, everything squared. Okay, nice. It looks as if the substitution was good. So here we go. I'm going to have my 2 here, but I'll pull the 2 to the back. Take the integral. I'm going to have 3dx, but 3dx is now secant squared theta d theta. So I'm going to have secant squared theta d theta. And under, I have tan squared theta plus 1. Um, tan squared theta plus 1 squared. 2 times the integral of secant squared theta d theta over, this is secant squared theta, secant squared theta squared. So now we know that this will take one of these out so that what we have, our i, is equal to 2 times the integral of 1 over secant squared theta d theta. So far, so good. But what is the reciprocal of secant squared? It's cosine squared. So our answer here, let's go here, is equal to 2 times the integral of cosine squared theta d theta. How do we integrate this? Top, ta da top, 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 top. 
we're going to say, oh, the double angle formula has to come into the picture. Okay, I need to revisit that quickly. I just need to show you that. You see, every time you have this, you cannot integrate cosine squared. You have to make it not raised to the second or third power. So we know that cosine 2 theta is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. This is an identity you learned in your trig class. You should always remember it. So, but this is what we want to integrate. So, we can move this one here. Cosine 2 theta plus 1. And then we can divide by 2. If you divide by 2, you're going to get cosine squared theta. So we can as well, instead of writing this integral this way, we can write it this way. So here, this is equal to 2 times the integral of cosine 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2 d theta. These two cancels these two, so that what we have is just the integral of cosine 2 theta plus 1 d theta. And that we know how to integrate. From here, we just integrate. We got this is equal to, if we integrate cosine 2 theta, we're going to get sine 2 theta divided by 2, right? So we're going to get sine 2 theta divided by 2. And if we integrate 1 d theta, we're going to get just theta plus theta. Ah, and if our variable of integration from the beginning was theta, this is the final answer. We just stop here, but we know it is not. We have to take it back to x. We have to take this also back to x. So how did we get to theta from x? We have to go back again to the trig substitution right here. This is the guy responsible for all the things happening Right now, let's recall that we said that tan theta is 3x. So if we have a right triangle, so we have this theta here. The tangent of theta is 3x, which is opposite over adjacent. Remember, 3x is 3x divided by 1. So this is 3x and this is 1. So we can find the longest side, which is the square root of this squared plus this squared, which is going to be 9x squared plus 1. So we have the three sides of our triangle, and we can find our answer. Oh, well, the angle we have is theta, but the answer we have is 2 theta. We don't know what sign 2 theta is. We have to write an identity for it. So the way this is, we have to rewrite it as sine 2 sine theta cosine theta. That's what sine 2 theta is, divided by 2 plus theta. So we rewrote sine 2 theta as 2 sine theta cosine theta, which you know from your pre-calculus or trig class. This 2 divides this 2. So what we have is still sine theta cosine theta plus theta. Now let's go get everything. It looks like our answer is looking more meaningful now. So let's go. What is sine theta from this triangle? Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So we can say our answer is 3x over the longest side, the square root of 9x squared plus 1 multiplied by what is cosine? Adjacent over hypotenuse. 1 over the square root of 9x squared plus 1. Plus, what is theta? Well, theta is easy to find always from here. If you want to find theta, you just take the arctan of both sides, and what do you get? It's just arctan of 3x. So, theta is arctan of 3x. So finally, we got our answer. <sighs> this times this is just 3x. 
This times this will remove the square root sign. So you have 9x squared plus 1 plus this are 10 of 3x. Nice. This is our answer. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, check out the description below. You'll see the link to the store. Um, I will appreciate your support. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.